Evans, Don, Don Evans from Tampa, Florida. Tampa, Florida. And uh, I was my first time last pastor's conference. And uh, we uh, worshiped and, and enjoyed the pastor's conference. I uh, left not feeling that I had a received. And uh, I was awkward because I knew that uh, my people expected me to come home with revival in my pocket. I was under a great pressure. <laughs> they met you at the airport, didn't they, brother? I, Looking you over. I drove home, and the closer I got to Tampa, the more I felt the pressure. We were driving. <laughs> and uh, I knew I couldn't manufacture a jerk or uh, <laughs> But my heart was pure before the Lord. I wanted reality. And uh, come over here. I want everybody to see you, bro. <laughs> I wanted the reality of what God was doing, and uh, I hungered for the, the truth of what God was doing. And uh, I told my wife that uh, not only did I not have a manifestation of any kind, I was having a hard time finding a text to <laughs> preach. This does get better, doesn't it, brother? <laughs> I'm, we got a lot of faith in you, friend. <laughs> you, you are on our side, aren't you? I did. I cleared screening over there. <laughs> Chaplain, we need to talk, brother. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, my wife sensed the uh, the pressure I was under Sunday morning and. Uh, she sent two brothers back to my office to pray with me, uh, and uh, it wasn't long as we prayed there and seeking God uh, that uh, another knock came to the door of my office, and uh, uh, it was a choir member who said, uh, your wife said, come out to choir practice. They were in the sanctuary prior to the uh, sanctuary class, and uh, there was a weeping spirit that just swept over the choir. And uh, she uh, knew that there wasn't anything unusual that she had done, but, but that God was beginning to move. Uh, one of the choir members began to say, I sense a great need to repent. I sense a great, and, and they, they began to cry. I, I went out there, and I, I saw them, and uh, they were just bowing deep at the waist and falling to their knees, some falling prostrate before God. And uh, I began to weep. The closer I got, I just, I sensed an overwhelming presence of God. And uh, knowing that I didn't have anything, it was God moving sovereignly. <laughs> Choir rehearsal will usually takes about 20 minutes prior to the Sunday school class. But the uh, choir practice moved. People entered the sanctuary for the Sunday school class that was held in the sanctuary. And they hit the doors, came right to the altar. They began to fall before God. Nobody was, was leading. There was no orchestration other than the Holy Spirit. The, uh, the, the Sunday school hour passed, and uh, the Sunday morning crowd started coming into the sanctuary. I regained some composure and... I sat, I sat in the pulpit chair uh, as clerical as I could, and uh, <laughs> and I felt that there there was always guests and those who were not aware or custom, and and some explanation needed to be made as to what was what was happening.
It wasn't funny then. <laughs> You know, brother, if I lived in Tampa, I'd go to your church. I'd go to your church. <laughs> when, when the time, I just felt, I started to stand at the chair and come towards the pulpit to uh, inaugurate uh, those who were just staring. As I stood up at the pulpit chair, uh, my knees become weak. <laughs> I felt uh, the urge to kneel before the Lord. How'd you put that again, brother? How, how'd you put that again? You felt the urge? I, <laughs> to kneel, I felt the great uh, urge to kneel before the Lord, and I thought I was kneeling, but I actually landed flat on my face. <laughs> I, take it, I take it that wasn't normal procedure in your church. No. <laughs> wasn't, it wasn't very clerical. <laughs> You really inaugurated things, brother. <laughs> so I remain prostrate before the Lord. And uh, I reasoned in my heart. I could, I could hear around, but I, I couldn't move. And I reasoned that an explanation needed to be given. I thought if, if God loved me at all, he'd let me get up and at least tell the people what was happening here. But I, the weight of glory just pushed me into the carpet. Many of you have had a similar experience. And the Lord spoke so gently into my heart. And the instruction was simply, there are times when God has got to get the pastor out of the way. When I heard the Spirit of God say I needed to be out of the way, I relaxed in the presence of God. And I was able. And the Lord just used a petite little lady from the choir who just stood and challenged the people in such a way, in, in language a pastor couldn't use. She just simply said, what are you sitting there looking at? Get down here and repent. And I know that there has uh, been a powerful price paid uh, for this facility to be open. God has chosen this spot. But if we want God, we have proven that by coming. I would just say, one, don't be proud. Two, submit yourself to prayer. And leave expecting. Leave expecting. If it's not God, you don't want it. If it is God, you can't refuse it. Amen. Amen.